Man, it looked like you were feeling it too. So yeah. Is that how it worked out for you? Yeah. I mean, coming into the day, you know, split the series. Uh, we had to win the day. Um, you know, it's everything that happened last year. I you know, had to bring my A game, especially against them. Um, just had to bring everything I had. Was last year kind of in the back of your head heading in today, or were you just trying, you know, it's a new season type of thing? Oh, yeah, it was definitely in the back of everybody's heads. Um, you know, just how competitive the 11 games we played against them last year was. Um, you know, that was in the back of our head. We knew we had to play every inning as hard as we could, every pitch as hard as we could. So we were definitely fighting every pitch. Which, pitch was, which, which pitches were working for you today? Uh, luckily, I had all of them. Uh, we had everything going. One through four was working, so it was a good day. There's some talking in those middle innings. Right? Did that add anything to you? Um, it, it adds energy. I try not to get into that, you know, just to keep my face out of it and stuff. But, I mean, I love the dugout, getting into the games. Um, it's great for the team, get energy in the dugout. So, it definitely added a little adrenaline back. Everybody wants to talk about your velocity, and I guess you can talk about that too. But, but your secondary stuff it looks like it's looks like it's making you making you a different pitcher. Could you yes, talk sir. about that? Um, you know, from a very young age, I told I threw hard for my age. But uh, once I got here, I realized that in college, you know, you have to have more than one pitch. A fastball is not going to play everything. So uh, developing those two, three, and four pitches, that's been really, really big for me. Could you go into those secondary pitches? Uh, well, we got the slider. Um, it's the 86, mm -hmm. 91 today. Uh, it's a harder pitch. It's almost like a cutter. Then we have the curveball. It's a 12-6. Uh, a lot of depth curveball. And then I throw a split finger changeup. Uh, that's, that's a new addition, uh, really getting into that. Um, Adding that fourth pitch starting this year. So how did you pick that up? That's not not a normal pitch for a lot of guys. Um, I actually watched Pitching Ninja. Uh, mm -hmm. Kevin Galsman, I watched his grip, watched him pitch a lot last year with the Giants. Um, I knew I needed a fourth pitch, so I started adding that in there. Yeah. And this is the third straight start with double digit strikeouts. What do you what do you attribute that to? Uh, just having everything. Past three starts, I've been able to throw all four pitches for strikes. Um, being able to stay competitive in the zone, so that's that's been a big thing for us. Is this your longest outing this season, seven innings? Uh, well, last, uh, last weekend I had seven yeah. innings as well. I know it was early in the season, but do you feel like you're starting to get the pace now? You know, trying to pace up? Yeah, definitely starting to get the pace. Um, starting to get more comfortable on the mound and in that starting role. So just being able to go those longer innings definitely definitely going a lot easier. I know you guys got a tough road coming up, but this is a good series win for you guys. What do you think it says about your team? Uh, this is huge for us, this series win. Uh, going into Ole Miss, obviously, in the midweek and then traveling to Charlotte next weekend. So having that momentum is huge for us.